Hi, I'm Josh Escovito with Wine Truck Tobin. Hi, I'm Scott Hervey from Wine Truck Tobin. Welcome to another edition of The Briefing by the IP Law Blog. So Josh, I understand we're here today to talk about trademarks, dogs, and whiskey. I have to say, I am intrigued. <laughs> I figured you would be, Scott. And that's a pretty accurate summary of what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about VIP Products LLC versus Jack Daniels Properties, Inc. It's a case arising out of the United States District Court for the District of Arizona. In short, VIP Products LLC, the creator of a parodic squeaky dog toy they call the Bad Spaniel's Silly Squeaker, sued Jack Daniels after receiving a cease and desist letter claiming that VIP was infringing Jack Daniels IP by marketing a dog toy that looks remarkably similar to Jack Daniels famous bottle of old number seven, which is likely the Jack Daniels product I think we're all most familiar with. Ah, uh, yes, from college, know it well. So, I mean, that's, I, I have um, had clients who have um, had issues with Jack Daniels, more like Jack Daniels had issues with my clients. So I understand, you know, that this is problematic for the toy manufacturer. How similar was the toy to the actual bottler appearance? The toy and the bottle are actually fairly similar. Uh, but as soon as you see the bottles next to each other, it's apparent that the dog toy is, is a joke. I mean, frankly, if you just look at the dog toy itself, you quickly realize that it, it's intended to be a parody. Um, if instead of having Jack Daniels up top, there's a photo or a, a picture of a Cocker Spaniel and it says Bad Spaniels. Uh, and then as you make your way down the bottle, instead of saying old number seven, it says the old number two, which is clearly intended as a joke for us dog owners. And if that's not clear enough by itself, directly under the old number two, it says on your Tennessee carpet. So the way it reads is the old number two on your Tennessee carpet. As, a, as an obsessive dog owner, I think it's funny. Um, obviously, Jack Daniels didn't find, find the toy nearly as humorous as I did. Yeah, and from my understanding, neither did the district court. On cross motions for summary judgment, the district court held that the toy manufacturer was not entitled, and not entitled to argue the First Amendment fair use defense uh, as is used in trademark cases because the toy is not an expressive work. For that reason, the district court held that the test from Rogers v. Grimaldi uh, for balancing the interest between trademark law and the First Amendment didn't apply. The matter eventually proceeded to trial, and after four days, the district court found in favor of Jack Daniels. Uh, but that wasn't the end of the story, was it, Josh? No, Scott, it wasn't. VIP and appealed the matter to the Ninth Circuit, arguing that the district court erred in finding that the toy wasn't expressive. The Ninth Circuit agreed with the IP and stated that a work need not be the expressive equal of Anna Karenina or Citizen Kane to be considered expressive. The Ninth Circuit also stated that the Bad Spaniel's toy is not the equivalent of the Mona Lisa, but it's still expressive. And as such, it remanded the matter to the district court with instructions to apply the Rogers test. And under the Rogers test, the mark holder is required to show that the putative infringing party's use of the mark either is not artistically relevant to the underlying work or that it explicitly misleads consumers as to the source or content of the work. Of course. And Jack Daniels has now petitioned the Supreme Court for cert. So can you tell us something about the questions presented in the petition? Yes, Scott. Jack Daniels wants the court to rule on whether a commercial product using humor is subject to the same likelihood of confusion analysis applicable to other cases under the Lanham Act, or if those products must receive heightened First Amendment protection from infringement claims where the brand owner must prove that the defendant's use is either not artistically relevant or explicitly misleads consumers. So essentially, Jack Daniels is upset that the Ninth Circuit would have the district court apply Rogers instead of considering the humorous nature of the product as just another factor in sleek craft. That's exactly right, Scott. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. Thanks for sharing, Josh. Of course, Scott, thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Josh's discussion about squeaky dog toys, trademarks, and whiskey. If you like this video, please subscribe. And if you're interested in more IP content, please consider visiting theiplawblog.com.